Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Well, on Friday night at City Field, it finally <laughs> happened. A New York Met threw a no hitter. His name is Johan Santana, and his remarkable comeback from shoulder surgery culminates in the first no hitter a Met has ever thrown. Yeah, his 99th start as a New York Met, his 43rd win uh, is a no hitter. And I can only talk about being a former pitcher in this organization, how proud I am that it's Johan Santana who wears the mantle of the first guy to get the no-hitter. Um, just a fantastic effort. Uh, I wouldn't say he had his best stuff tonight, and that probably uh, speaks volumes of what kind of pitcher he is. He's coming off a shoulder surgery um, on 110 to 115 pitch limit. He went well above that, of course, and uh, it's just uh, it's a proud moment for anyone who ever wore this uniform. I knew, you know, how, uh, you know, that uh, the Mets uh, never had a, a no-hitter. You know, I never have one, you know, so uh, this is very special. You know, uh, we work very hard, uh, all the things that we have gone through, that I have been through, and then, uh, you know, this is very, very special, and, uh, and I knew uh, this means a lot to, to New York. You know, you look up and you see zeros up there, and it's like, you know, well, what a high-stressed uh, high game to come back. It was, it was incredible, lost for words. Well, I always have fun watching pitch, but in about the seventh inning on, when he was getting to that 95 pitch mark, uh, things got a little hairy. You know, this guy's on the verge of making history. Uh, you, you may only have that one time in your entire career. So uh, I thought he had to, had to have a voice in it, so I allowed it. I don't think anybody had the, the courage to go take the ball from him. So I think, um, you know, just a, like I said, an incredible night and something that, that couldn't happen, you know, to, to a better person. Um, and, and not a better you know, representative for, for, for the organization. I don't even think I throw a no hitter in, in video games. Let's put it that way. You know? and this, this is the first time I had an opportunity, and then coming into, into this game, I had no clue. You know, I had no, no sense that I would throw a no hitter. You know, it's just uh, it's very special. Tonight we all made history. That's all that matters. And thanks to you guys, because you guys. Make it happen, you know, and then uh, I was just doing my job, having fun. And yeah, baby, believe it, yeah! 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 Did you know what I mean? To be able to accomplish this is an honor. You know, I know how much this means to, to New York and to the New York Mets, and then uh, definitely it's something that uh, I'm proud of, and uh, I'm very happy to be part of it, you know, and, and hopefully, this will, you know, continue, and then uh, there will be more coming from anybody. You know, he threw 134 pitches. He walked five. He struck out seven. Got the benefit of one bad call by an umpire and another great catch by one of his outfielders. Well, they always say there's going to win a no hitter or a perfect game. There are two, three, four plays in a ball game that could go either way, and there were two tonight. And that was the line drive off of Beltron's bat right down the third base line that. Uh, third base umpire Adrian, uh, I'm sorry, Adrian Johnson called foul. It was a heated argument. It clearly showed in the replay that it ticked the line. Uh, that would have been uh, the, the no hitter right there. And of course, the great catch by Mike Baxter that he had to leave the game crashing into the wall, making a catch over his shoulder. Uh, he had to leave the ball game. And there's your two plays and there's your no-no. When you have a game like tonight, somebody's got to come up big. So there's got to be a great play made. Uh, and Mike made it. I don't know how bad he's hurt yet, but uh, tremendous play. Great catch. I mean, that ball that, that Baxter caught, he'll go down in the annals of New York Met lore because of that, you know, to, to save the no-hitter, the first no-hitter ever. Well, you know, it's an honor um, to be able to make a play for Johan, but ultimately it's his night. I mean, he was incredible tonight. He just uh, start to finish, you know, he really had it all working. So um, what, a, what a night, a great night for him and the Mets. It took 50 plus years and 8,020 regular season games, but Johan Santana is the man to break the no-hit drought for the Mets as he beats the Cardinals eight to nothing. Mets and Cardinals continue this series with Ari Dickey on the mound on Saturday afternoon, four o'clock start on Picks 11. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.